Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining me for our weekly devotion. I'm going to read from Exodus 30. We're going to look at verse 17 to 21. Exodus 30, 17 to 21. The Lord said to Moses, You shall also make a basin of bronze with its stand of bronze for washing. You shall put it between the tent of meeting, which was the tabernacle at that stage, and the altar where they sacrificed uh, the animals. And you shall put water in it. Which, uh, with which Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet when they go into the tent of meeting when they come near the altar to minister to burn a food offering to the Lord they shall wash with water so that they may not die they shall wash their hands and their feet so that they shall not die it shall be a statute forever to them even to him and to his offspring throughout the generations. Now, between the altar and the tabernacle, the most holy place, that was a place where only priests were allowed to enter, the Levites. But before they could enter, they had to make sure that they were clean, that they were ritually pure in order to enter into the presence of God on earth. And by doing that, they had to wash their hands and their feet we read too about uh, the ritual baths that common Jewish people had to do before they came to the temple to offer their sacrifices and all that. So that it was just a ritual thing to, to demonstrate that something had happened inside and that there was a pureness involved. And, uh, some theologians have linked this to baptism that we as Christians do. Others have debated it. But the point is there's a sense of cleansing yourself and especially for the priests they had to wash their hands and wash their feet their hands because that was the dirty stuff you know that your hands caused you to sin or your hands did things uh, but generally because you also just busy sacrificing uh, on a more practical level animals and that they're probably filled with blood and everything so from a cleanliness perspective and a, a purity perspective and their feet as well for the same reason from the dust walking around but also just to signify okay I'm coming into the presence of God what did the burning bush God in the burning bush say to Moses take off your shoes or you're standing on holy ground and they did this so that when they entered into the presence of God they might not die or they may not die they would not die and when Jesus came along he didn't offer water that would prevent us from dying he offered us living water water for life do you see the contrast this was purification so that they would they could avoid death when entering into the presence of God Jesus made a way for in, for us to enter into the presence of God made a way for the Holy Spirit to dwell among us in each one of us and gave us living water in his word living water water for life Lord, and water not to keep us from dying but water to keep us living water to give us life water to show us the way to life water to sustain us forever and ever we can talk about all the metaphors in this. We're not literally drinking <laughs> living water, but we've got Christ. We've got His Word. We've got water that doesn't just keep us from dying, but that gives us life. Water that leads us to life. Think of that old song, Let your living waters flow over my soul. It's just an amazing contrast that we see here with the old law where you had to just purify your hands and feet just so that you might not die and now with Jesus who fulfilled the law we might have living water it's an incredible thing to think about so might I encourage you this morning to seek his living water to make sure you're getting your fair dose of it that you might be striving forward to life in his name life for his glory living water for life and not just doing things so that you might not die, but living for Him because you know that He is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, thank You for Your Word to us this morning. Thank You for giving us a living water, a water that doesn't just prevent us from dying, but a water that leads us to life. Thank You for Your Word. Thank You for Your revelation to us. Thank You that You said You are the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father 
except through you. Please help us again to refocus ourselves, to rededicate ourselves to you, that we won't just be using you to get by, that we won't just be using you because we want to escape hell because it sounds like an ugly place, but that we will, we will be seeking you to cure our sin condition, that we will go for the heart like you went for the heart, that we'll, we will have a desire to change this ugliness, this ugliness inside us and let your living waters flow over. Let your living waters flood our souls. Let your living waters, uh, through the Holy Spirit, take control of our lives. Father, we pray that we will just give ourselves up again for you and for your glory as your living water sustains us now and forevermore. We bless you and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen.